Hey guys, it's Marshall from Going Gear, and today we're going to take a look at a couple of new lights from Thrunite, the Neutron 1C and 2C. 1C is the single cell 1CR123 battery, 2C, 2CR123 batteries. Let's go ahead and open these guys up, show you what you get on the inside, show you the operation, all that regular stuff. Holster, spare O-rings, light itself, and the instructions. Let's go ahead and stick that back in there. Go it to the side, and then same kind of stuff on the uh, the 2C. The only difference between the two lights, other than obviously the size and the batteries that they take, is the 1C, as you can see, has no pocket clip. 2C does. And the pocket clip on the 2C is actually a really nice pocket clip. It's uh, titanium coated, so it has a nice titanium alloy coating on there. Really tough and durable. Should hold its appearance for a nice long time. It's zoomed in just so you can see the details a little bit better. 1C on the bottom, 2C on the top. Nice touches like the stainless steel bezel. There's the reflector and that XML LED down in there. Open up the back, show you a couple other things that they do. Nice little touches like square threads and the threads are all anodized. Nice thick sturdy body on there. No surprise coming from the makers of the catapult which was a nice big burly flashlight. Same kind of stuff on the 2C, but like I mentioned, you get a pocket clip on the 2C. And actually, the other two models, the 1A and the 2A, also come with a pocket clip, but the, uh, the little guy, the 1C, does not. So let's get back out of this and show you the operation. Okay, I already have a battery in the 1C, so let's go ahead and open up the back of the 2C and stick a couple of batteries in there. A couple of Surefire CR123s. Got two of those in there. Stick the tail cap back on. And like I said before, the threads are anodized, so if you have it tightened, if you just loosen it up just a little bit, hit the switch, light doesn't turn on. But when it's tightened all the way, that's when you get your operation. So it's a reverse switch. Click it to turn it on. Lightly press it to switch between the modes. When the head is tightened, you have your max output and then your strobe. You can see you can just switch between those two really quickly and easily and turn it off and on will also do it. Then when you loosen the head, that's where you have your other outputs. Lowest output on here, something like 0.09 lumens, really, really low, great battery life, really good for those kind of situations when you don't need a whole lot of light, when your eyes are adjusted to the darkness, you wanna read, uh, look inside your tent or your pack or anything like that, that's uh, when having such a low mode is so useful. Lightly press the switch, you have your other outputs, so four different outputs when the head is loosened, and then SOS, those are the ones you have to choose between. One thing that's kind of cool about these is they actually have a memory. So you can see when you loosen and tighten the head, it actually memorizes what you had when you had the head loosened. So you can set it to what you want. You want that lowest output. That's what it'll come on in until you switch the modes. Nice feature on there. Nice departure from uh, what a lot of the other companies do if you like that kind of feature. Same operation on the 1C, max output, strobe, loosen the head, other outputs, and then your SOS. So that's the operation of these guys. Let's go ahead and take them outside and we'll see how they do outside. Okay, we're out here with the Thrunite 1C and 2C and we're gonna be comparing them to the big 40 mag light that I always use. So let's try out that mag light first, see how it does. Little bush 15 feet away, tree out there at about 100 feet. Zoom in on that so you can see how it does. It's basically lighting up the tree uh, not very well, and that's it. All right, let's try out those through night lights. And that's it on high. This is the 1C. You can see just a ton of light coming out of this. These are definitely not throwers. Um, if you're looking to light up something hundreds of yards away, this is not going to do it. But this is going to light up everything in front of you for about 100 yards, which is really, really nice. So that's the 1C. We'll loosen the head. Let it go through the different levels. There's the lowest output. Next up. Next up. Next up. And there's your flashing modes. And there's your max again here. Argo off, crunching in the distance. <laughs> He's doing his nightly exploring. And there's the 2C. You can see even more light coming out of that one. There's your strobe. There's your max again. We'll zoom in. Just so you can see. 100 feet away, absolutely no problem. Like I mentioned, you go further than that if you need to. We'll drop it down, show you the other levels. That's the lowest. Next up, 
This will light up the ground in front of you, just in case you're wondering. Uh, it actually lights up the ground in front of you pretty well. Next up, you can see you can get pretty de pretty decent distance on that one. Next up, 100 feet, no problem. There's your flashing, and then there's your max brightness again. So that is the Thrunite 1C and 2C with the XML batteries, or the XML LED uh, lithium batteries. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach us in the comments or at goinggear.com. If you like the lights, you can get them from us at goinggear.com. And uh, if you like the video, be sure to subscribe. We do stuff like this all the time.